Marshall is a town near the Louisiana border in Upper East Texas, and it's one of the biggest pottery centers in this country. The underground deposits of clay here have provided people with a good living since the middle 1800s. Pottery plants have changed a good deal in that period of time. A lot of them do more now than just make pots. Some of them have opened retail stores. There's more money in that than there is in just making the products. Sam Ellis came to Marshall before the turn of the century to work on the railroad. But he found he enjoyed making pots more than working on the railroad, and so he opened the Marshall Pottery Company in 1890, and the business has been in the Ellis family ever since. When this plant first begun, well, it was uh, this uh, what we could deliver by wagon. You know, uh, just uh, towns that we could reach conveniently easy by wagon. And I think we've got to Shreveport, Louisiana, which is about 40 miles from here. That was a maybe a two-day round trip, you know, in a wagon. And then when we uh, got got the motor vehicles, well, we could go out a little further. We went out to Mississippi and Arkansas and Oklahoma. And over the years, as the number of potteries has decreased, well, the demand has been coming in on the few potteries that's left. And see, we get inquiries from New England and all over. And we don't deliver to New England, but we have jobbers come there and deliver for us. And so we're delivering, uh, either delivering or our pottery is at least getting to every state in the union. John Ellis says the pottery business has declined, but not because people lost interest in pottery. He says it's declined because all the old timers have died off and most of their sons and daughters didn't particularly want to carry on the pottery business, so there just aren't as many potters working. The companies still in business, though, are finding there is still plenty of demand for their products. Well, 50 years ago, nearly everything we made here was essential. People had it, needed it for the everyday living. And now that those same items are mostly ornamental. They've been made replaced by plastic and things like that. But actually, we're selling more today just for ornament than we ever did sell when people needed them. Of course, I'm sure the total volume wouldn't be that much. And a, lot, a good a bit of our pottery goes out to tourist outlets in the West and states and, and then southern states and places like that. I uh, guess you would say overall maybe it has declined, but on the few potteries that are still operating, they, it's, they, they all have more than they can handle. It's not a trade that's dying out if, by any means because uh, uh, a lot of these younger people are interested. They're teaching in a lot of colleges now, and a lot of schools, high schools and so on are teaching. But it, uh, I, I don't think it'll ever really play out as a, as a trade because it's something that's very much in demand and I believe always will be. E.J. Humphreys has been working on the wheel at the Marshall Pottery Company for 30 years. He learned the trade from his father and his father learned it from his father. Mechanization has altered the operations here some over the years, but 75% of the stoneware produced here is still handmade, and E.J. Humphreys is the master potter around here. Humphreys normally works at the factory, but he spends a few days each week in the retail store so children and grown-ups can watch him work and ask him questions. Kids just want to know how, why I play in the clay all the time, why I play in the mud, why you get so muddy, how come that's such a nasty job? Most of the uh, Grown-ups are, are real interested in how it's made and and so on, and types of clay and glaze and the temperature it's fired and so on. Because a lot of people are interested in, in ceramic work now, and this is runs along parallel to ceramics. Many of the spectators are amateur potters themselves, looking for ways to improve their work. Now they come down and look and, and wonder why they don't do it like we do, but uh, of course they don't get eight hours practice every day like, like we do. And that practice is one of the things that takes to make a piece of wear and make it right.
They use eight tons of clay every day here at the Marshall Pottery Company. The factory machines turn out a flower pot every six seconds. With 30 machines working, that comes out to 150,000 flower pots for an average eight-hour shift. It's a pretty efficient business, but hardly as interesting as watching E.J. Humphreys make stoneware the way his father and grandfather did. 